So here we go. The three, five, and five San Antonio FC as they take on the OC Blues at five, five, and three. But if we, we start to set the tempo a little bit better, playing the ball a little bit quicker, once we get comfortable, we should be good. Here's Vigero. He goes over to Francois. Opportunity for Alvarez, and it goes over the cage. First real opportunity comes here, and Alvarez, with a look, just sends it a little too high. Yeah, it was about to pick up the pace a little bit here. Is part of this, and here's an opportunity for Francois as he's going one on one. Great moves, Francois. Sending it to Raid, and it's in! First goal of the game going to Michael Reed, and a huge opening score for San Antonio FC in the 17th minute. And right on cue, I mean, we couldn't have asked, asked for anything better right there. Jack. Jacks did an amazing job there. I mean, his one-on-one -on -one ability was great, but I think what was most impressive is he was so so unselfish on this play to, to kind of slip slip Mike Mike through here. Look at him doing his dance a little bit, kind of putting the, the defenders off a little bit. But what a great little ball there! Good vision, Michael making a good run, obviously, and putting the ball sliding in there, and getting the ball in the goal. Come out, but Alvarez will send it back to Rafa. Try it again. This time going long. Header to McCarthy, tried the bicycle kick, and just going wide with it. Fajero was right there, but Ryan, it looked like he might have almost been slipping as he was trying to connect with that. Yeah, I mean, it was obviously it was a good service by uh, by Rafa there. Biko does a great job to put it back across, and I'm not sure if uh, Fajero just wasn't quite sure or surprised that it was going to come to him. He looks a little bit off balance when he when it gets to him. He's leaning back, and you know he just didn't obviously get the contact that he wanted on it. And uh, unfortunately, yesterday after practice, Ryan, but, you know, just having to play in these kind of environments. And here's an opportunity here. We'll get punched out by Miller. Castillo tries to keep it alive. All there as Castillo went to the ground. But there will be one there. And it looks like Orange County wanted a little bit more out of that than what they're getting. They will get the free kick, but there's not going to be anything close to a yellow there. No, it wasn't a blatant foul, if anything. I'm not sure if it even was a foul. I'd have to see that one again to, to be sure. But, you know, when a, when a forward is on on the center back like that and he goes down, he's going to usually get the benefit of the doubt. So a free kick as that heads in. Ford comes out to punch it up. And that will go out of bounds as the Orange County Blues will get their first corner kick of the game. And Josh Ford is on the ground, sitting, not laying there, but nonetheless on the ground. Yeah, it looked like he came out. He does a good job come, come, coming out here, but I think as he's about to punch the ball, someone takes him out kind of right, right from underneath him. Yeah, and there it is. Just takes him out from underneath him. Tough one, but it looks like it's going to be okay. Here's the low corner. Now we'll get knocked out by Cochran. Orange County still with the chance. Muse, and that is going to tie the game. The Orange County Blues in the 41st minute. And the man that we talked about from the beginning of the game till now, the leading point scorer for the OC Blues, Roy Muse, scores another goal for his team. And this thing is now tied at one. An unbelievable. I mean, you got to say, he's got, he does have a good shot, a good left foot. But Obviously, from the corner kick before this, it was some kind of a pl uh, set play that they, used, they, must, they must have practiced on the practice field to get away with the win. Here's another chance for the Blues as they send it in. Crosser still with it, and it will be Palacio sending it out on the clear. Owen. Reed now. In the last few minutes. Crindon with the cross, and that will go all the way to the corner of the goal. Josh Ford was over there to knock it out, and now the ref making the call that it went off of the goal and was saying it was a goal kick. But it will look like, it looks like it's gonna be a corner for Orange County. Yeah, it was a free kick. Rafa tried to head it away, obviously it comes off of him, and yeah. Josh gets a, actually a very good touch on the ball, and then it hits the cross. And that will be the end of it. So after 45 minutes, 
San Antonio FC won. The Orange County Blues won. You, maybe you step it up even a level now in the second half. Uh, make, make, make the tempo a little bit quicker, a little bit sharper, and don't, don't let them get into the game. So we'll see how they, how they respond here as, as the half starts. Well, it's not like Josh Ford is easy to miss. I mean, he's the guy that looks like a highlighter out there. Yeah. All right, here's an opportunity for the Orange County Blues. That'll be sent in and right through. Right over Josh Ford. It looked like it might go too high. And Ford, as he leaped for it, just went over his fingertips. And Orange County, not even a couple of minutes into the second half, has now taken a 2-1 to one lead here at Toyota Field. Yeah, you see the guy, he just he picked the ball up here in the middle of the field. No one really pressures him. He takes a shot. It definitely deflects off of, of Miggy there. So that, that's what put Josh off. And it, you know, kind of loops over him and hits the bottom of the cross. Surprising goal based on the deflection, but San Antonio FC for their efforts in the first half now find themselves down a goal. Here's a crosser and that could go to Reed. Alvarez with it, trying to get it. It'd be cleared out by Orange County. No call for San Antonio FC. San Antonio FC with a chance there. Francois being the creator. Does a great job getting the ball across. And then this just this is really, really strange. I mean, a lot of times when you're younger, especially, referees will call. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, 30 minutes left in the game. You got you got this tempo, like I said, I keep mentioning the tempo's gotta Crosser, go. Crosser, Biko, and Miller dives on the ball. Stefanovic. And that was a great opportunity for Illich coming right into the game. Very quick kick bending towards the goal, and he just flat out missed it. Yeah, it was a great ball, actually. The guy does well on the outside there to uh, get the cross off, as you can see right there. Great ball in behind the back four. So tough for a defender to to, uh, to defend that, as well as for Josh to make a decision whether he's good for San Antonio FC. Here's Alvarez, or that was Garcia. And off to the corner, he was going long. All the way down to Frank. And here's Jacques. Opportunity. Defender falls down. Here's an opportunity to cross over. And there it is! The equalizer for San Antonio FC. Less than a minute from coming into the game. Frank Tail comes in and ties this game at two. Great goal. I mean, I think you give most of the credit there to Jock. Jock does a great job winning the ball down there on the side, getting across the, uh, the end line there. And, does a great job just picking up his head again two, two times tonight where he's picked up his head and picked somebody out in the box to, to finish. But here he goes across the end line again, picks his head up, finds Frank. Frank does the easy job. Thank you very much. Early Christmas present for him. Well, if you're ever going to sprint with energy, Francois, again, the creator, he's got a hole, and he's looking at the net all by himself. Cross shot, saved by Miller. Opportunity for both sides to get some water here. Get for Garcia chance but he'll dump it back to Alvarez Milton Palacio streaking down the line it will not be called outside here's a chance for Palacios and there is the third goal of this game for San Antonio FC right there down the sideline we have seen Milton called offside previously that time he keeps it right on the line, streaks down the side, gets a open look at the goal, and beats Brandon Miller 3-2 San Antonio. Excellent ball by Carlos. Obviously, they've tried this play probably last probably a few times the past 10 minutes, and finally this time it works. Milton makes, I mean, how far is that run that he makes down the line? But he stays with it. But the ball comes to him, and he's really, really composed when the keeper comes out, picks up his head, and picks out an open spot on the goal to finish it off. Excellent play. And not only... Near side, one-on-one. -on -one. Cochran's over there. There's your crosser. And it goes all the way through, though. Here's another chance at goal. McCarthy with the aerial skills heads it out. And that is going to be the whistle. San Antonio has come back from being down 2-1 to one after giving up an early goal here in the second half and then scored the last two. They knock off the Orange County Blues 3-2 to two here at Toyota Field, Ryan.